Hello students, hello and welcome to another lecture here in the C Sharp Fundamentals course. This course is part of a larger video series where I record my teaching at the HTL Leonding, which is a vocational college for computer science. If you haven't taken a look at the previous videos, I encourage you to do so. I will add a link somewhere up here, up here, somewhere there, and I will also add a link in the description field of this video. Now today's topic, today's video will be a short one, today's topic is the switch statement. We have already learned about the if statement and the switch statement is somewhat similar. You can do somewhat similar things which this, with the switch statement and this is exactly what I would like to show you today. So remember what we learned about the if statement. Let me zoom in a little bit so you see it better here. Let's take a look at this example here. In the first two lines here, we are asking the user for an input. First we say, what is your grade? And then we use the read line statement, we had that one before, together with the int.parse function, which turns the string input into a number, into an integer, and at the end we have a grade. If you watch this video and you aren't from Austria, in Austria we have five grades. One is the best and five is unfortunately not so good. So we want to give feedback and this feedback would should be some kind of textual feedback. So what I did here is I implemented an if statement where I say if the grade is one then print wow you're a genius else the else statement belongs to this if here. If grade is two or grade is three, then we print, wow, you're a good student. If the grade is four, we print, you barely survived. And if it's not four, sorry, you did not pass. So please note that here, let's use another color, we have a collection of if, else, if, else, if, else, if statements. And if you have something like this, if you have an if, then an else if, then an else if, then an else and so on, it sometimes makes more sense to use a switch statement. This is exactly the switch statement here. Let me draw a little bit so you see the similarities and the differences between switch and if. Here you see the switch and in contrast to the if statement, the switch statement only gets the variable or the expression over which you would like to switch. And then you can specify a case here, see that one? This says case one and it's equal to grade equals equals one. And then we can say case two, case three, see that one? That is this one here. Then we can say case four, that would be this one here. And then we can say default and that would be the final else statement. Now please note a very important thing here in the switch statement which, which makes this whole thing work. After every case, case one, wow you're a genius, we use the break statement in order to exit from the switch statement. So the break statement will jump to the very end of the switch statement and continue with potential um, function calls or methods or whatever you do after the switch statement, it will immediately jump out there and continue with the program there. But note, after the two here, I did not put a break statement here. Instead, I immediately wrote case three, as you can see it here. So these two things belong together. What I'm saying here, if the grade is two or three, write you're a good student. And that's exactly what we have here on the left hand side with the if statement too. So you see, this switch statement really comes in handy. Instead of having to write this if, else if, else if, else if, else and so on, we can simply say switch expression, then here use one, two, three, four, five, however many we want to have cases and we always must not forget the break statement once we are done with handling the switch case. So don't forget the break, that's a very important point here. When to use what? Sometimes that isn't easy to answer. Sometimes you can use the if statement. Sometimes you can use the switch statement. And you have to really try to choose the select, the select statement, the selection statement, if or a switch, that is simply a better fit to your concrete case. Think about mm, if somebody reads your code, what would be easier to understand, if 
or switch. Especially if you have such long uh, collections of if, else, if, else, if, else and so on, then a switch is sometimes the better option. But there are also situations where both options are perfectly fine. You can use if, you can use switch, you will reach your goal with both options and then you simply have to choose. It's up to you. Choose whatever you like. I have an exercise for you. Let's implement a calculator with a switch statement. What should the calculator do? First, ask the user for two numbers. Once the user entered the two numbers, ask the user which operation that she wants. Could be a plus for addition, could be a minus for subtraction, could be a star for multiplication, or could be a slash for division. Then, perform the selected operation. So if the user entered, for instance, as the first number a 10, and then as the second number a 5, and the user chose a plus, then 10 plus 5 is 15 would be the result. And in order to distinguish between the different operations, plus, minus, multiplication or division, use a switch statement. Switch operation, case plus, do something, case minus, do something, case star, do something, and so on and so on. To make it even clearer, I have put here an example output. This is how your program should work. So, ask the user for the first value. Oh, sorry. Ask the user for the first value. Ask the user for the second value. Then, next, ask the user for the operation. Plus, minus, star or division. Then, execute your switch statement. Calculate the result and print the result according to the first value, second value, and the operation. So, pause the video here and try to implement exactly that calculator. Nice, you are back! Did you manage to implement the calculator in C-sharp? I hope you did. If not, just uh, ask somebody who can help you. Maybe you have um, a, a, an older sister or an older brother. Ask your, your parents or ask me if you are in my class or in our programming club. You can ask me and I will help you overcome any problems. Exercising is key, you know. That's a very important one. I told you that over and over again. Mastery comes from practice and therefore we do immediately the next exercise. Can you remember the rock, paper, scissors uh, example that we did a few weeks ago? There we used if statements, we used nested if statement. If player 1 has chosen rock and if player 2 has chosen paper, then player 1 wins because rock, uh, rock, rock beats paper. Now you can implement exactly the same exercise using switch statements instead of if statements. So please go back in my material, take a look at the original exercise again and take the advanced version, the rock, paper, scissors, lizard, spark exercise and try to translate it from if statements to switch statements. That is a very good exercise for getting used to the syntax of the switch statement. So again, pause the video here Sit down, start a new project, maybe copy the exercise from Rock, Paper, Scissors, Lizard, Spark and then refactor it into switch statements. Come on, try it! Nice, you're back! Welcome back! I hope you managed to do the exercise and you managed to create Rock, Paper, Scissors, Lizard, Spark with a switch statement. Now to close today's video, I would like to give you as often, some pro tips if you want to dive really deep into software development. I have something which is very, very interesting for you and that is the switch expression. It's kind of advanced stuff, so you do not absolutely need to understand everything and use it on a daily basis, but for those of you who might already have a little bit of experience with coding or who really want to dive into more details, let me show you what the switch expression is all about. Now the beautiful thing of the switch expression, let me zoom in here a little bit, is that you can use it on the left hand side of the equal sign because it's an expression and not a statement. So you can easily say something like var message equals to grade switch 
And then instead of saying switch case break, switch case break, switch case break and default, you say switch, then you say the number, for instance one, just like here, this one, then you use the so-called fat arrow because it looks like a fat arrow with the equal sign and the greater sign and you say if I, the grade is a 1 the message should be wow you are a genius if the grade is 2 or 3 please note that you are not using the pipe operator here we are using the word or here to or three then the message should be you are a good student and so on and so on and instead of else or default we use the underscore statement here sorry not the statement the underscore operator here it's called the so-called discard operator you don't need to remember that just remember the underscore here you can use the underscore for saying if it's not one if it's not two or three if it's not four then the message should be sorry you didn't pass so this is the switch expression it's pretty powerful you can use it in many situations but again you can do exactly the same with the if statement with the switch statement you might need an additional variable or so so this is advanced and use it if you feel comfortable if you don't feel comfortable and this this uh, confuses you more than it helps just ignore it no problem just ignore it and that's it we covered the switch statement today's video was a short one because it was just an extension of a selection statement we covered if now we covered switch and with that we are done for today remember mastery comes from practice so keep on practicing keep on coding and come back for the next episode when we are talking about when we will talk about loops loops will be the next topic for today see you